everyone. I'm so excited to be with you this morning at this very special time of the year. I grew up in a household with a public educator. My mom was a high school American history teacher and coming to be with you this morning brought back so many memories. I remember early August, my mom beginning to prepare her classroom. I remember as a kid going with her and helping to put things up on the walls and helping other teachers in the school. And this was in the 70s and the 80s and in a part of the country where it was very hot, very humid and no air conditioning. I remember going back to school was always an exciting time for my family and for me as a student, but it also, there was a sense of heaviness and knowing all of the work that needed to be done. So when I was asked to come and join you and just share a few encouraging words, I was delighted to be given the opportunity because I know what it's like having seen what my mom went through, having seen what my grandmother went through, who was a secretary in a public high school and then later in an adult education program. I know what the back to school feeling is like. So I'm here today to just say a few things, simple but important. First and foremost, I'm here to say thank you. I'm here to thank you for what you do for our kids, for our families, and for our city. Thank you to the leadership of Fresno Unified, to Board President Valerie Davis and Trustees Cal Johnson, Michelle Azadorian, Luis Chavez, Christopher De La Cerda, Carol Mills, Janet Ryan, and of course, thank you to our district superintendent, his leadership team, but most importantly, thank you to our classroom teachers, our school site leaders, our counselors, our principals, our clerical staff. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. As your mayor, you need to hear that message loudly and clearly that I'm grateful for what you're doing. But I'm in a double role today because you know I'm also a parent. And as the parent of Fresno Unified Children, as a mom, I also say thank you. My children have been in Fresno Unified Schools over the last eight or nine years now, and as I've had the occasion to sometimes volunteer in classrooms, chaperone on field trips, and observe what happens in our Fresno Unified classrooms, I cannot tell you how absolutely amazed I have been at the ability of one person to hold the attention of sometimes 35 second graders or third graders or first graders to lead them in a chaotic but productive fashion to make sure that they do what they're supposed to be doing i can't do it with two and you guys do it with 35 how do you do it i have no idea but I'm so glad you know what you're doing and you're so capable. All of the teachers that we've had the opportunity to work with as parents and the teachers we've observed in our schools that we've been a part of are absolutely amazing. So thank you as mom, as a mom of two Fresno Unified children. And I have to say that as mayor, I recognize that what you do each and every day has far more to do with the transformation of our city than even what the city of Fresno does each and every day. You are the ones, you are the ones who every day are working to help our city transform in a positive way to break a cycle of poverty, and to put Fresno on a new and different trajectory. And I thank you for that. But there's a second thing that I want you to know today, beyond just thanking you. I want you to know that your city supports you. We play a supporting role 
and you are the lead in the school play. I'm a theater mom. Some of you know my daughter went to Bullard Talent for five years. And what an incredible program. We've been to so many productions, either at Bullard Talent or Children's Musical Theater. And I have to just tell one quick story about my daughter, Sydney, who's not here, so she won't know that I've told this story. Please don't tell her, because she would kill me. Don't tell her. Don't tell her, Tammy, please. She's 13. She could take it out on me for a long time. I remember when she was seven years old, she was at Star Elementary at the time, and during summer break, she did a musical for the first time with Children's Musical Theater. She had never done anything like this before, and she played a supporting role. She was a member of the ensemble, no speaking parts, no dramatic entrances, always in the back. Nobody in the audience would have recognized her except for her mom. And we went to this show on opening night. The play was Aladdin. She was dressed as an Arabian princess, little tiny thing, about this tall. She's on the stage, in the back, behind the tall kids. Nobody can see what she's doing except me. And I see this kid animated, lit up, arms everywhere, singing her heart out. She was a part of the ensemble. She was a part of the supporting cast. And you would have thought she had the lead role. She didn't know. She was just in the ensemble. And nobody really was paying attention to her. Well, that image is what I want you to think of when you think of the city of Fresno. You may not know each and every day that we're in the background doing our best, flailing our arms at times, believing in our lead actors and actresses, believing for the same thing, working hard and fighting to break the cycle of poverty, but knowing all the while you are the ones who are really making that happen. But we are a part of your supporting cast. And you need to know that each and every day, the things that we're doing at the city of Fresno are entirely centered around making the neighborhoods where your schools are better, cleaner, safer, a ripe environment for private investment to help upgrade the neighborhoods, trying to connect neighbors and residents, many of whom have children in your classrooms, trying to help them with the issues of their household, trying to help them with the issues of their neighborhoods. Why? Because we know if we do our part and we're good at our supporting role, it makes all the difference when you walk into your classroom on a Monday morning and have to deliver your curriculum and work with these kids. I heard a statistic years ago that has stuck with me every day as mayor, and it's this, that there's a direct correlation between the quality of the neighborhood that a child walks to school through and the performance of that school. You get it? You know what I'm talking about. While you're doing what you do in the classroom, we at the city are doing everything we can to improve the neighborhoods that surround those schools. How many of you have heard about this whole fight and debate about the city's general plan? Have you ever heard of a general plan? Raise your hand. I never would have, as a resident and a layperson, ever thought that a general plan mattered to me in my daily life. But I tell you today, as mayor, as our city council deliberated last spring and ultimately adopted a plan for our city that directs half of the growth and development and investment in the future of city back into existing neighborhoods back into the neighborhoods where your schools are, half, half into existing neighborhoods and half into new growth areas. It turns out that made a lot of people pretty angry. But we know that's what matters to your schools, making a difference in our existing neighborhoods and in our existing schools. That's what the city of Fresno is all about. As you hear more about this general plan and whether or not the city should equally divide its attention between what we already have and what is yet to come, please know that issue affects you each and every day and we'll continue to stand for investing in what we already have in the city of Fresno. 
The last thing I want to say is just a little bit of encouragement. I want to encourage you. I want to thank you. I want to let you know we support you. We're pleased to be your supporting cast at the city of Fresno. And lastly, let me leave you with this encouragement. In addition to being a theater mom, I'm also a Little League parent. Any of you in the room? Little League parents? Okay. I thought I was a pretty good baseball mom. I cheered, I gave it my all in the stands, but that was just rec league, okay? My son, for the first time, made his first all-star team this last spring and summer. Those all-star parents took things to a whole new level. I was a little frightened at my first all-star game. And then I, of course, got into it and was every bit as mouthy as the mom next to me. But I'll never forget sitting next to this very prim and proper Little League mom in her nice sundress, ready for the game. Everyone's chitty-chatting in the stands, and the play starts, and her son comes up to bat. This woman went from prim and proper and well-mannered to a raving lunatic in a matter of seconds. And this was my first exposure to this type of environment. And I'll never forget what she said. Her son, whose name I won't mention, because some of you might know her, said her son's name. He swung the bat, he hit the ball. It wasn't a great hit, but he had a chance of getting to first base. And she yelled at the top of her lungs, run hard, run hard, run hard, get dirty, get dirty. I thought, and that became the mantra of our team. Get dirty, get dirty. And that was a way of saying, give it your all. Slide into second, slide into third, slide into home. Get dirty, you may not make it. You may not make it. But go for it with everything you've got. Well, I dare say that our opponent in transforming the city of Fresno is decades old poverty. That's our opponent. It's not this side versus that side or this person versus that person. You guys, we are all in it together challenging decades of poverty in the city of Fresno. That's our opponent. And we're trying to steal bases and we're trying to steal points from poverty and ultimately win the game. I know that as you step into your classroom each and every day, you face setbacks, your kids face setbacks, there are challenges, there are all kinds of things you have to overcome. I get it. I know what it's like to be after something big and to face obstacles and to suffer defeat at times. I get it. But what I want to leave you with is this word. You guys, this year, as you have in the past, go for it. Go for it with the children you're working with, with their parents, with their guardians. In the face of all obstacles, go for it. Get dirty. You got nothing to lose. Give it your all. And as you do that, I guarantee you, we will steal more bases from our opponent. We will earn more runs. And together with you as our lead actors and actresses and your community as your supporting cast, we will break the cycle of poverty. You have the keys in your hands and we support you in all that you do this year and in coming years. Thank you. I pray God's blessing on you, your families, your children, and your schools. God bless you.